So here we have Scott's uh, showing off what he's doing with the cutscene. So one of the things we do is makes it a lot less expensive, but also is still really cool. Are these uh, ex Scott going to explain what oh, you do? Oh, um, so what what happens is Leo will uh, do a cutscene. He'll paint it up, um, and I make sure that he does it in layers. And then what I do is take it into After Effects after cutting up the layers, and I can um, basically that is set it up, really cool. I don't know if you can see this in the video, but set it up like a 3D scene and, and pan right through it. You get. Uh, you get all these 3D controls. So even though these are 2D assets, you get a really beautiful painted. It alive. reminds me of uh, when I was at I was at Disney World, and they talked about how you know early on in the animation that like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was the first movie where they had what's uh, like multi pane. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. You see, um, I think they use the same exact effect at the beginning of like Beauty and the Beast and and stuff where you know it, it brings these 3d scenes alive so uh that's what you're going to be seeing a lot more of in fallen enchantress is we have these planned for all kinds of events throughout the throughout the game and oh that'll be nice intro and, so what yeah. would you say is if you had to if someone were to ask you what's the biggest difference between war magic and fallen enchantress in your mind working on the game what would you say it is um i would say we're putting a lot more <laughs> A lot more soul into it. I mean, really trying to nail the whole, you know, in Gal Civ, we were lucky because everybody had a lot of imagination. We we laid out the groundwork and, and the backstory, but but players really infused their own creativity into it. Whereas um, when you have a game in an RPG world, I think people want more. They want more, even more lore, more um, more story told to them. So we're going to. Um, we're going to try to do that in, in Fallen Enchantress and um, put a, a whole bunch of RPG-rich lore and history in and, um, I don't know, give people something to be excited to go out and, and explore the world to see. Right. Well, it's looking cool. All right. See you later. See ya.